it's Outland. Today I want to show you the Grand Trunk Ultralight Hammock that I picked up off Amazon. Picked this up for around $15.99, something like that. Picked it up around Christmas and just now finally getting it out. Some doing some testing in the backyard. And I've shown you guys before in prior videos my hammock testing area is not the best but it does actually work. I have this big tree here and I have a utility pole and I've been kind of using these things until I can get a real hammock set up um, which I'm going to try to construct maybe uh, you know two poles or something uh, maybe in, in our field here and just have a, a dedicated hammock hang area. But for now this works pretty well. So what I have here is the Grand Trunk Ultralight Hammock. I've done a little bit of modification to it, as well as the Grand Trunk Tree Slings, which I pr pretty much had to purchase with some kind of suspension system to hang this thing. So well, let's go over what I've got set up here. Okay, I have the tree sling here. I have it uh, vertically instead of horizontally, just because of the way the tree is too thick to really do it any other way but this works out just fine um, you know normally out in the woods you would probably have it you know horizontally between two trees but this works this works just fine uh, so basically this is about 20 foot long rope cordage here and it's looped so what I did was I brought it through put the tree strap here through the tree brought the knotted end through the rope here you want to pull as tight as you can make sure it's nice and snug bring it down and then you can see how it's knotted here about every eight inches or so 12 inches something like that and basically you can use the carabiner hook whatever you're using and just pick the knot to get the right suspension now it's not you're not going to get the absolute perfect hang with this it's uh it's everything's approximate uh, so if you want something more dedicated than that you'll want to use a, a, a a, a better suspension system, but something like this works fine for something like this. Now, I really just purchased this for day hikes or um, you know, throwing in my pack. And maybe I want to take a break when I'm hiking or taking to the beach. I'm going to take this to Myrtle Beach here in a couple months, things like that. Really not dedicated. I didn't buy this for you know, hammock camping or anything like that. I bought it just for kind of lounging and for lounging in the backyard even like this. This works out pretty well back here and I actually fell asleep in this yesterday for about an hour and a half so it is super comfy and super nice to use. So I have it hanging from the other thing here. See just how I've got it uh, suspended right off of that utility pole. I've got it on the last knot here because it's pretty far apart. These are very far apart actually. So even with these super long straps, I'm sorry, these super long ropes you can see I've had to hang it there. Now for the attachment point I have used a uh, black diamond neutrino carabiner just because it's much better quality than what comes with this thing. It comes with these really cheap these iron S hooks that are really really not great at all and uh, it's real simple to just unknot it from the S hook and swap it out with something like this. I like these neutrinos. They're nice quality. They just they look good. They're great. So I, I you know, I'm using neutrinos on my uh, my Hennessy as well, and these work just really, really well. These are great. So make sure you want to swap them out with something else. The actual hammock itself is made out of a polyester material. It's 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 super super thin. It's it's very lightweight. It it feels very flimsy. It, honestly, when you when the first time you get in this thing, you feel as though you're gonna fall right through it. So I, my confidence was like I don't know about this thing. <laughs> the first time I I tried it out, but man, it does hold your weight very well. I can sit in this. I can lay in it. I move around a lot. I moved around a lot in it. No ripping, tearing, nothing like that. And I even had my two boys in it who are about 40, 50 pounds each. They were both in it together and being kind of rough on it, kind of moving around a lot. And we had no problems with anything, no, no threading, nothing coming apart. Um, no, good, it's really super strong. And um, now, because it's so thin, this, this polyester material, I uh, actually did get it wet as well. I actually had a beer out here, and I spilled my beer <laughs> in my hammock, and it dried within just a couple of minutes with the, with the breeze. So that's nice, too. 
but the only problem with that is uh, it's extremely thin so air goes right through it as well I could feel the breeze yesterday it was about 75 degrees yesterday when I was testing this and it's about 75 right now and I can definitely feel the breeze blowing right through it so you know this is really just for hanging out for nice days this is really pretty much a warm weather type of system um, summer type hammock or you're going to need a lot of insulation if you're planning on using this for some kind of overnight excursion or if it's you know, if it's a really nice summer night you could you could sleep in this uh, you'd probably want to use some kind of tarp or something with it but I don't know it's you can feel the air right through it it's not like a backpacking hammock for sure it's it's really just a lounge lounging kind of hammock a day hike hammock things like that it does come in its own stuff sack and this is the stuff sack that you know I like this concept really really well because this you know all the storage you don't lose anything you know the hammock stays right with its own stuff sack and it fits in there really nicely and when you're hanging in it this hangs out the side and it, it makes a very good storage area I put my glasses and cell phone in here yesterday as I hung out and it was just really really nice just to have my stuff stored straight in there and I knew exactly where it was I knew I wasn't gonna crush anything and uh, or you know poke any holes in it through anything it, so that was great really really nice in it here it's nice and wide it doesn't look like it when it's just hanging but it is super nice and wide I think it's about nine and a half feet long and um, it's, it's see I've got a lot of extra material here so I can kind of kind of do an asymmetrical lay I can kind of lay flat but uh, you know it's it's really nice it's really roomy Now it's absolutely fantastic for laying out here on a day like today, it's 75 and gorgeous, you know, this is absolutely beautiful. And uh, I'm pretty excited to be able to take this out, I'm going to take this to the beach, uh, like I said, and hang it between some palm trees down in South Carolina. So I'm pretty excited to try that, uh, I haven't been able to enjoy something like that in a while, about a year to, actually. So it's uh it's good this is, I like this hammock it's pretty impressive now some people have complained about the uh, the durability of this polyester as opposed to like a, a nylon a parachute nylon or something like that I don't see any immediate problems with it maybe this deteriorates over time this thing might tear eventually but I don't know for the, the kind of use that I'm using it for very light use I don't, I don't anticipate a whole lot of problems like especially for the money this is a really nice quality hammock and I think Grand Trunk's done a good job you know like I said they could improve for sure they could improve the hardware that comes with it uh, you know but that's easily swapped out and I think they do need to do a little better job of advertising the fact that it doesn't really come with any kind of suspension system it's kind of shady on, uh, on Grand Trunk's scheme because if if I had have researched and known that before when I was purchasing it I would have been pretty disappointed to find out that uh, I would have no way to hang it. But I, I did know that going in. You can see I'm moving around a lot in it. I'm kind of rolling around. If you're the kind of person who ha has trouble staying in one spot, you know, you try to roll around a lot. Uh, shouldn't be a problem for you. I'm, I'm being pretty, uh, moving around quite a bit on it. It's, it's, it's holding it pretty well. So here are the S hooks that come with the uh, hammock. And you can see they're pretty crummy. They're, they're really, really basic. And actually, these ones that I got with it um, actually had some surface rust on them just from sitting around. I don't know if they sat in a warehouse at Amazon or what, but just pretty crummy. So you'll definitely want to swap those out with uh, something like the neutrinos like I showed you. Now here's the hammock and the tree straps in their stuff sacks and as you can see the uh, the size of this is really good this is probably about two softball 
two softball size. Um, pretty nice little stuff sack and a nice drawstring. Um, good quality there, really. And uh, just pretty nice. It's made out of the same material as the hammock itself. Now the bag for the um, tree slings is a little bit nicer. It's a little bit nicer material. Feels a little bit nicer. Uh, just uh, very nice. Got the Grand Trunk logo on it. As you can see, got the Grand Trunk tag and the same kind of drawstring there. So that's the size of the two of them together. Like I said, uh, it's about 12 ounces. This is another four or five ounces. It's roughly a pound for both items Overall, together. I'd say the uh, Grand Trunk Ultralight's a, a great purchase. It's really worth the money for you know, 15 bucks or so. Now, like I said, with the tree slings, you're going to be spending about 40 bucks total. The tree slings are actually more than the hammock itself. But uh, they're really nice quality themselves, and they would work with really kind of any kind of uh, hammock that you have. So uh, you, could, you could swap those out with a Hennessy or a war bonnet or anything, I would think, and they would work pretty well. Um, so those are, those are nice quality. It's a good quality hammock, definitely a good purchase. I highly recommend it. I like uh, Grand Trunks products, they're pretty good. So um, definitely give it a try. I'd like to know what you guys think. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. I'll talk to you very soon. Overall, I'd say the uh, Grand Trunk Ultralight's a pretty good hammock to, uh, to pick up. It's definitely worth the money. Really plain.